Greetings, friends in Christ. Guess what time of year it is. As we continue in these days leading up to Ash Wednesday and the beginning of Lent, we're certainly mindful of a very festive time of Mardi Gras and a time of feasting, a time of celebration, a, a time of joy. And yet we know awaiting us uh, is this really wonderful season of Lent where it's not so much a time of feasting in an external way, but a time of fasting, of prayer, of greater generosity, being more intentional of how we can care for others. And that's a feasting in its own way, feasting in the Lord, feasting in uh, the things that truly matter. Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent, we have the words and the promise of the Lord right from the heart of the Sermon on the Mount. Prayer, fasting, almsgiving, the three pillars of our Lenten season. Prayer always. Fasting, we're not as mindful as we are during Lent of how special this gift is to turn away from uh, those things in our lives that could be harmful to sacrifice the simple pleasures at times so that we can appreciate that the gaze of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, the mind and heart of the Lord is always upon us and calling us to greater faith, hope, and love, calling us to renew our relationship in Him. That's what Lent is about. All of our sacrifices, our prayer, our care for others, finding the Lord in the midst of all that, accompanying our catechumens and candidates who are on this journey of discovering a greater depth of faith in the Lord in the Catholic Church. So we pray for them and with them, and all of us heading toward Holy Week, and ultimately the resurrection of the Lord from the dead. And in that moment, we renew our vows of baptism. We're called to go forward as a people of faith, hope, and love, a people truly entering into a season of refreshment and new life. So we pray for one another at the beginning of, of Lent and certainly celebrate accordingly uh, leading up to that and knowing that in a way really the feasting and the celebration begins when we enter more deeply into the life of Jesus Christ and his call in our lives. So thank you and let us be faithful in praying for one another. God bless you.